This is Matt Cruz, and I'm reviewing case number 5420-5420. So this software was not made for reviewing PET-CT. So we're just going to do the best with what we have here. My recommendation would be to review with two windows. And in one window, have the PET corrected data, which we have here on the left. In the second window, I would drag the CT images. The software will probably automatically fuse them in one of the windows. Then before looking at anything, I would scroll to the liver and window the image so that the liver is sort of a light gray color, like that. Now we can go back to the top of the study and start to review the images. It's also easiest to scroll using this slider at the top of the window. So there's physiologic activity in this patient in the brain, in the tonsils, a little bit in the vocal cords. But as we come down into the chest, we see some abnormal, very bright activity or hypermetabolism within some mediastinal lymph nodes here, left paratracheal. A little bit lower down, there's a right paratracheal lymph node. And then in the middle of the chest, we have this large, very hypermetabolic mass, inseparable from the esophagus and certainly suspicious for a mid-esophageal cancer. Some of you who have eagle eyes may have noticed there's some additional foci of tracer activity in the lungs. And if we window to the lungs, which I recommend using the numbers one through four, there actually are some small lung nodules in this patient with mild FDG activity. So this is a case of a mid-esophageal cancer with mediastinal lymph node involvement, as well as small metastatic pulmonary nodules. To quickly go through the other findings in the abdomen, we would be on the lookout for any liver metastases, which I don't see in this patient. It's normal to have FDG excretion in the renal collecting systems and bladder and some degree of mild linear activity in the bowel is also normal. So that's all for this case. Thank you.